Hello everyone, it's Crib and Neat, and welcome to the channel. We trust that everybody's having a wonderful day, that you guys are in the best of health. In today's inspirational message, I'm coming from the book of Matthews, one of the Gospels. Book according to Matthew, the 22nd chapter, the first through the 14th verse. It's loaded in these chapters and these verses, but it's dealing with the parable of the wedding feast. In one of the verses said in the 14th verse, it says, For many are called, but a few are chosen. So, this story is about an invitation that was given to all those that were available that would come to enjoy in the feast. God is extending us the, the, uh, the opportunity to also to come and dine with him in this kingdom. A lot of people have not heard his call yet. John 3.16 tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and that who shall believe of him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So in this invitation, I would say to you today, my brothers and sisters, you have a right to reject God. But don't forget, when you die, and you will die, then God also has a right to reject you before his father as well. That means hell would be your new address if you don't make it to the pearly gates. So the parable of the story is about how the kingdom of God is open to everyone. Different races, creed, colors, does not matter. This party is for everyone that wants to come. So the invitation, invitation was sent out in John 3.16. So we are to do whatever Jesus tells us to and calls us to do. And it is through obedience, submission, and humility. So that the commands of God comes with abundant joy and grace will be poured out into the lives of these that come to this great celebration. I'm so delighted that I've been invited. God knows I'm excited because no one wants to go to hell. So we have two choices. Either we want to go up Oh, we're going to go down. And the words that we want to hear, God said two, two words or two sentences. First one is, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been good over a few things. Enter in the joy of the Lord. Or the alternative to that is, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I knew you not. That, boy, that sentence you just definitely don't want to hear. Jesus performed his first miracle at the wedding feast in the city. And he can miraculously turn the water into wine because they ran out. Excellent wine, not the cheap stuff. So Jesus is the bridegroom. But in this culture, two invitations were expected. When banquets were given, the first was asked the guests to attend. The second announcement was that all was ready. So in this story, the king invited his guests three times, three times. And each time they were rejected his invitation. God wants us to join him at his banquet. That's why he sends invitations again and again and again. So the question is, have you accepted this invitation? Are you available? Are you dressed for the occasion? But for the most part, the main thing will hinder a lot of people from accepting the call of God is excuses. And I've, I've had parties at my house for 4th of July when I was in Vegas. 
and I invited people over to come and house warmers, house warming times. And these people, I thought that was my friends that were going to show up. We went out and bought all this food. I had the grill going. But only a few people show up because the rest of them probably had these excuses right here. And the number one is, I don't have anything to wear. Have you been someone you said that to yourself when you were invited to go somewhere and everything was practically free? Jesus tells us to come as we are. Or we say, I don't have anything to bring. Just bring a positive attitude. Bring humility and a humble spirit and you can be invited. Or number three, people say, I don't have time. I'm too busy. So today we've, we've got choices to make. Either you have time or you don't have time. But I can assure you when you die, you will not be late for your funeral and you will have time wherever life brings you into it. Whatever season and state that you die in, you will have time to either be in eternity with God or be in hell with the devil and his angels, which, which, which was not created for you, but it was created for the devil and his angels. Choose ye this day, my brothers and sisters, in whom you will serve. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this message. We thank you for the great invitation that you've given us. We pray that we'll accept your invitation, we'll come humbly and boldly, and we'll be as wise servants. You've had some great things in prayer for us. You said you go away to prepare us a place. You will be with where we are, where you are, we will be there also too. But in my Father's house, there are many mansions. And you said if it was not so, you wouldn't have told us. Father, we thank you for what you've given us, what you prepared for us. And we can't wait till you return, God. So we can go back with you and you can tell us, well done, thy good and faithful servant. So thank you right now for an advance invitation. And we trust, pray, God, that we'll make the right decisions and the right choices. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen. So in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, notification, and thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video. And may God bless you all. Peace.